Many of you young people are curious to know the journey from a dick cadet to captain of a ship in Merchant Navy. Here's a short video explaining the various ranks to climb before a cadet can become a captain of a seagoing ship. My name is Captain Anand Subramanian and I'm the Vice Principal of HIMT College. I have 24 years of sea experience from dick cadet to captain of a ship of which 10 years as a captain of large seagoing ships. The dick cadet story starts in the pre-sea training. A cadet has got two options. He could go for a one-year diploma in nautical science, the option of taking up BSc nautical science with further studies, or they could directly go in for a three years BSc nautical science course. The entry qualifications and the eligibility for either of these two courses are the candidate should have passed in 12 standard, that is 10 plus 2 examinations, with physics, chemistry, and maths as the core subjects, obtaining a minimum of 60% marks average in PCM. The candidate should have scored a minimum of 50% marks in English at the 10th or the 12th standard board examination. Age should be between 18 to 25 years at the commencement of the course and the medical fitness as for the prescribed standards. Upon completion of the pre-sea training, a cadet is eligible to go on board as a dick cadet. Depending on the stream selected, they have different training regimes. A BSc Nautical Science cadet has to undergo 12 months of onboard sailing they have to complete the cadet record book detailing their onboard training uh, imparted, for which they would be exempted from four months of second mate's function. If a candidate enters the dick cadet as a diploma in nautical science candidate, they would have to complete 18 months of onboard sailing. They have to maintain a shipboard structured training program that is similar to the cadet record book. And a DNS candidate also has to appear for four months of second mate's function. Post which they have to undergo a series of DG shipping examinations, courses, and orals. The first one is a written examination comprising of three functions, followed by eight approved DG approved STCW modular courses. They would have to undergo more signal and orals examination, and upon successful completion of all the above, a candidate would be issued second mates or ongoing certificate of competency. And now a dick cadet is eligible to join the ship as an officer. His first step would be to join as a third officer. As a third officer, they will have to accumulate sea time, typically about 12 to 15 months, depending on the company requirements. They would also have to obtain a recommendation from the master, which is normally based on their performance on board. With the sea time and the recommendations of the master, a third officer can be promoted to second officer. Remember, the third officer already has got second officer's certificate of competency, so there is no special examinations or courses to be conducted before he is eligible for promotion to second officer. Now, as a second officer, before he becomes a chief officer, he will have to obtain minimum 18 months of sea time as an officer on board. This 18 months includes the sea time as a third officer. Post which, a second officer has to undergo DG shipping courses and examinations for chief mate's competency. They are chief mate's competency phase 1 and phase 2 for a duration of 6 months followed by 3 modular courses which are DG approved and which is further followed up by returns and oral examinations for 3 functions. Upon successful completion of all these, a second officer is now issued a chief mate's certificate of competency. For a promotion to become chief mate, the second officer has to obtain the recommendation from the master and the company before he can be promoted to a chief officer. Once a candidate becomes a chief officer, he would have to take one more promotion before he becomes a master of a ship. Before he gets a master's license, he would have to sail for 12 to 18 months of sea time, depending on the rank sail. He has to undergo a series of DG shipping courses for becoming a master. The first one being advanced shipboard management competency course of 45 days followed by a simulator based modular course and further followed by written examinations and oral examinations in MMD. Upon successful completion of all these, the candidate now gets a master's or ongoing certificate of competency. With this certificate in hand, a chief officer candidate is now eligible to become a master. You will have to further sail on as chief officer get recommendation from the existing master and the company before he can be promoted 
as a captain. Upon promotion of a chief officer, he takes over the command of a ship and he becomes a master or a captain of a foreign going ship. So this was a journey of a tech cadet starting from his pre-sea training to tech cadet to third officer, second officer, chief officer and finally a captain.